Güler, lovely turn. Great footwork as well. Arda Güler çaprazda Arda vurdu gol. A sensational goal from the new sensation of Turkey football. Arda Güler. When an 18-year-old Turkish boy had both Barcelona and Real Madrid in a race to get his signature, the entire media was thrown into a frenzy wondering just who this kid was. After putting the pen to paper for Real Madrid, the entire world had their eyes on Arda Guler just to see what made him so special. Even with limited playing time at Real Madrid, Arda still produces moments of magic and has fans and teammates alike eagerly waiting for his next opportunity on the pitch. For his early days in Turkey, he had drawn up some massive comparisons with some of the biggest names the game has known, including arguably the biggest of them all, as he was dubbed the Turkish Messi by the local Turkish media. However, since arriving in Real Madrid, the comparison that stood up the most, due to his similarities with a former Madrid icon, is Artu Guler has the potential to be as good as Mesut Ozil one day. Crazy statement, but can he? To answer that, let's bring you back in time a few years back to Artu Guler's early beginnings at Gensler Berlie. Artu Guler began his youth career at Gensler Berlie based in Ankara in 2014 when he was just 9 years old. In the short term he spent at the club, he impressed everyone who watched him and he was already considered a wonder kid at a very young age. It didn't take too long before he attracted interest from bigger clubs, but he chose to remain home in Turkey. He stayed with the Turkish club for five years before moving to Fenerbahce to join their youth ranks in 2019. This is where his real journey began. After joining Fenerbahce in 2019, he progressed quickly through their youth system and it was clear he was a player for the future. If you like it, you better put a ring on it, or in this case, a professional contract. And that was exactly what Fenerbahce did with Arda Guler. On the 13th of January 2021, Arda Guler signed a two-and-a-half-year professional contract with Fenerbahce that would see him become a player for the first team. He made his senior debut for the club the next season when he came on as a substitute in a playoff round fixture for the 2021-2022 UEFA Europa League season against Finnish club HJK. In the short term he played for, he showed glimpses of brilliance, but failed to make a meaningful contribution in the match. Fenerbahce ended up winning the game 1-0, but Arda Guler's moment didn't come until three days later in his Super League debut. This time, the Fenerbahce fans got to experience exactly what they paid for. Arda Guler remained a constant threat from the minute he was brought on, but as impressive as his performance was, the scoreline remained nil for the two sides. Not until the dying moments of the game. In the 89th minute of the game, Arda received the ball and laid a beautiful pass through to Miha Zaitz, who finished beautifully to score the only goal of the game to win the match for Fenerbahce. As the season progressed, he started getting more playing time and he capitalized on every opportunity he got. Midway through the season in March 2022, he became the club's youngest goal scorer in Super League history at just 17 years of age. By the end of the season, he had three goals and three assists from just 255 minutes of playing time. That's like an average of two goal contributions per full match. At 17 years of age, that's just ridiculous. And it's not just us who think so, as every major club in Europe was looking to offer him a contract. From Arsenal and Liverpool in the Premier League to Bayern Munich and Borussia Dortmund in the Bundesliga, all the way over to Spain with Barcelona, every club was demanding his signature. Even PSG came knocking for this kid, but then again, that's hardly shocking. None of it mattered though, as Fenerbahce offered him a new three-year contract which he agreed to. Turns out it was a smart choice, as his next season with the club even overshadowed the first. By the start of the 2022-2023 season, Guler inherited the number 10 jersey following the departure of, wait for it, Mezit Ozil. Hmm, who would have thought? Almost like a hint for the future. Now, you should know the number 10 jersey holds a special place in the hearts of the Fenerbahce fans given it's a number that has been worn by several club legends like Alex D'Souza and JJ Okocha. Guler didn't feel the pressure as he settled into his new number pretty nicely. In his first game of the season against Kasim Pasha, he scored two goals in 21 minutes. What's pressure when you're just too good? And he wasn't just turning up in league matches for Fenerbahce, but was delivering amazing performances in European fixtures as well. On the 3rd of November 2022, he had a memorable match against Dynamo Kiev in a Europa League group stage fixture. Fenerbahce won the game and the star of the show was none other than Arda Guler. 
He scored the first European goal of his career and also gave an assist to win the game 2-0 for Fenerbahce. As impressive as Goulart's performances were, his biggest moment for Fenerbahce came on the 11th of June, 2023. Fenerbahce was up against Istanbul Başakşehir in the 2023 Turkish Cup final. This is the kind of night where heroes and villains are made, and Arda Goulart gave the performance of a lifetime at the age of 18 to win his first trophy for the club. Fenerbahce won the match 2-0, and the Man of the Match award went to none other than the Turkish Messi himself. By the end of the season, it was getting harder to keep Arda Goulart at the club, and Fenerbahce knew it was time to let him go. But the big question was, where will he end up? The two main candidates were Barcelona and Real Madrid, two excellent clubs. But on the 6th of July 2023, Real Madrid announced the signing of Goulart to a six-year contract lasting until June 2029, beating Barcelona to his signature. Real Madrid closed the deal for 20 million euro in total, paying more than his release of 17.5 million to fend off Barcelona. Goulart's start to life in Madrid wasn't as rosy as his previous club, as he was immediately injured upon his arrival. As a result, he couldn't make his debut until the 6th of January 2024, when he was brought on against Arandina in the Copa del Rey. He contributed to the team's 3-1 victory with a beautiful display, including a beautiful free kick that hit the crossbar. This earned him his La Liga debut against Las Palmas on the 17th of January 2024. He played for nine minutes and performed beautifully as well. On the 10th of March 2024, he scored his first La Liga goal after being brought on against Celta Vigo. In the fourth minute of stoppage time, Goulet received the ball and dribbled past the goalkeeper to score Madrid's fourth goal in a 4-0 victory. This was his first goal for Real Madrid, and it seemed like a carbon copy of Mesut Ozil's first goal for Real Madrid almost like another hint toward the future. Considering Real Madrid's overstacked midfield, featuring quality players like Jude Bellingham, Aurelian Choamini, Kamavinga, Tony Cruz, Fede Valverde, Brahim Diaz, and Luka Modric, it's been hard for Goulart to break into the starting lineup. But notwithstanding, the Turkish midfielder has been impressive with the little minutes he's played so far for Real Madrid, constantly providing moments of shocking brilliance. A recent one happened against Osasuna, where he attempted a shot all the way from the halfway line in the midfield and had the Madrid bench stunned senseless. Sadly, it hit the crossbar once again. What a goal that would have been! It's no surprise the Madrid fans have been demanding he gets more playing time, and when you watch him play, it's hard to wonder why. Which brings us back to our question. Can Arda Guler be as good as Mesut Ozil one day? Honestly, we think he might be even better. Just listen to what Ozil himself had to say when he was asked if there was a number 10 better than him. In his words, is there a number 10 better than me? I can think of a name. I have a brother that I believe in. May God protect him. His name is Arda Guler. Even Ozil himself sees the similarities in their playing style. With his fantastic left foot, he's an attacking midfielder who can also operate on the right wing to cut inside and create shooting chances. At such a young age, it's just amazing how well he makes those decisive passes to the final third, just like a certain German midfielder used to. His passing, vision, and creativity mirrors that of the German. Everything he needs to be an incredible playmaker. And have you seen him on set pieces? Just marvelous. Not to mention, they played together at Fenerbahce, and it was Goulart who inherited Ozil's number 10 jersey after he left the club. Do you think Arda Goulart can be as good as Mesut Ozil? Let us know down below, and if you're new here, click the subscribe button and join the Kickverse fam. Until next time.